I'm not going to film on this today, Johnny. I'm going to film on the phone. Yeah. Just see how it comes out. Straight up. Straight up, man. Straight up. Um, we're in top two HQ. And we've just come off the back of the best show we've done so far. Yeah. In resilience. Um, sum it up in three words. Go. Can't you put that on me, ain't You're thinking too much into this. Yeah. It was fucking amazing, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. To be honest with you, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, no. I want to. I want to do it. I want to get it. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll get it at the end. Yeah. We'll get it at the end. Let's talk about some issues that might have occurred leading up to the show. Well, the first issue was Louis Norman. He got pulled out by the board, so it wasn't him that cancelled, it was the board because he lost four fights in a row. He took a big show on the zone. Um, cheers, Ed. He took a big show on the <laughs> zone and he he had a good fight with a Let's Go fighter. It was lovely to see. Lost well, because he's a journeyman. And uh, because he lost four fights in a row, they cancelled his um, license, or suspended his license, sorry. That mean he couldn't fight Marley Mason. Marley's like a close friend now, uh, you know. His shop is obviously at my uh, father-in-law's house, so I grafted for the opponent for him to get that. It was a good winning record as well, so it wasn't really a journeyman. And then, bang, what's the face of that? What's the face, you know? My arm's really aching. Oh, sorry. But <laughs> it doesn't ache if I'm holding the, the other camera, which is heavier. It's almost like... Maybe because you've got that. Like, yeah, like, what, what can I use? Nice. Can I like put it on this or something? Can I put it on that? I don't know. Like... Amazing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, so then Marley Mason, obviously his opponent got pulled by the board um, and then had a graph to get someone in for him. Casey Bradnam, he's actually got a uh, son on the way and it was quite scary whether he could fight or not, but he took the fight. He come there to put in a good show, great fight. Unfortunately, he lost. Um, and suspended now by the board because he got a stoppage loss. So he won't be able to fight for 28 days. So for me, it's shit because he's got a kid on the way, mm. but also that gives him some special time with his kids. So I think that was meant to happen. And I appreciate you coming on, Casey, by a lot. Um, yeah, and then from there, the other problem was obviously Jordan Dujon and Constantine Ursu, um, a late pull out on weigh-in day. Mm. And I know as you get bigger, as more fights are happening and they mean a lot more, these things can happen because obviously it was for the only title won the show, a big fight and you can't go in there 50%, you can't go in there, it was probably less than that. Turns out he had COVID, mm. sickness, uh, diarrhea a lot. Coming out of that way day, that fight was never going to happen again, was it? it no. Ursu was like, no. Ursu was angry. Very angry. Very angry, scary angry. But what have you done? Well, we made the fight. So... I said to him, like, I'll be honest, like, I was honest with him. I said, is that how you want the story to end with Jordan? You must want a, a bit of revenge. Jordan, if, like, listen, you've been ill. When I'm ill, mate, I'm a proper mummy's boy. I'm like, oh. mm. like, he was the man for him. So he must feel like shit that someone's doing interviews, calling him out, if it's true and whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean? So he wants to get his revenge. And now for me, we spent a lot of money on the promos, as I keep saying, mm. but we've got that footage now. We've got all the footage from the interview. So for me, it's a good build up and it is a main event. Yeah. And I will make that the main event. So yes, December, maybe the 9th, that is my main event. Yeah, that's and we can't confirm date at the moment. It was second. Yeah, but there's a big show that I can't say. Big, big show. Uh, on the same day. And if it was the same day as mine, you wouldn't see me at my show. So. No, you want to watch <laughs> that fight. Yeah. Um, so that was the resilience that we had the show. And then timings. Now timings, obviously, is my first time on TV. So it was de very different as in, stick the fights on, hurry up, get out, have an interview here and there, yeah. and then crack on. But this was like scheduled. So what I learned, obviously, all the time learning, I said, right, these are the fights I want to make. I've sent to the producers. I said, tell me how many rounds I can have. Tell me um, how many rounds or how many breaks or when you want me to start on the app, on the TV, and let me feel the show up from there. Whereas last time, I made the show and then we broke it down. Whereas yeah, yeah, yeah. that probably is the wrong way to go. So Yeah, you're working backwards. Learned, yeah, yeah. And it's nice to pick things up to learn. And obviously, we're meant to go live at half seven. Ended up going live at eight because the fights from before overrun a little bit. But that meant that 
Lenny Fuller, who's been out for a long time, gets the fights on Sky, and that meant that Carl Pavey's last fight, God bless him, was on Sky. So he's still got a lovely memory to tell his beautiful kids. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Okay, cool. So um... his memory just ran out, by the way. Hmm? Your memory just ran out. I thought I could ask you up. You dropped the phone and the memory ran out. It's going to run out again, isn't it? But um... yeah, so all in all, successful show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, and within that show, we had a couple of moments. You had the Tyrone King moment, the Rocky moment. Yep, crazy moment. Um, obviously, Tyrone King uh, performing well, Lorenzo performing well, top of their game. Uh, Lorenzo dropped Tyrone, too excited, caught in the moment a bit too much, hit him a couple of times when he was down, sent to the corner, still angry. Great coach and manager, Alex Leo, calmed him down. And Tyrone got a couple more seconds to recover, come out, measured him up, pop. Bang, bang. You see, like, like the, the arm, yeah, like measuring it. He's done it on the previous fight as well. Listen, I jumped up, hands on my head. You can probably find that and stick it in this. Um, the whole thing he done it. I lost my voice, screaming, "Whoa, whoa!" Um, and then after that, obviously, Marley Mason was a great performance. We've got to keep saying that because he's gone up to fifteenth in Britain. Wow. Tyrone's in the twenties now, so that's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, obviously, had all the heavyweights. They done what heavyweights do and had a bit of a slow fest and. Made the crowd go, ooh. And then we had the main event as well, which went the whole distance. Whole distance, which I didn't think it would go. Especially but after the first round. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was crazy, wasn't it? That yeah. first, first two left looks was, was beautiful. Um, yeah, and uh, what, what a fight to be involved in. Everyone talking about it after the show. 10 out of 10 for the show, and that's hard to follow. Mm. It's going to be hard to follow. Yeah. You know, so the only way we can do that now is with titles. Mm. So I'm working my ass off to get these titles on the line. I've got a great story coming up with two boys from Lee and DBA, unlicensed shows, what's clip got me into boxing. I went to uh, Civic Hall one day with Lee and helped him out, made sure a couple of the people from Grays were behaving. He should let me in free to do that, if I'm being honest. And then from that, we went and watched Cole Frotch versus Kessler. It was my first uh, experience at live boxing, which was right up in the gods. And now that we're both ringside at events, so it's a yeah. good story that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be another title fight on the show as well, obviously. With, uh, so working on a couple of southern areas. Yeah, and listen, we're going to obviously change the colour. Yeah. So the colour scheme will be uh, for my daughter, who's due on the 5th of December. So it's oh, going to be a bit it's close. Tight. Yeah, the missus is cool. She's very supportive at the moment. Yeah, I mean, things could change because the, the hormones and that, but so far, so good. <laughs> She's supporting. Um, but everyone supports me in this boxing game. It's crazy. So, yeah, let's hope she's happy still. Yeah. So, we do, we need to, do we need to paint this wall pink now? Or are we just going to leave it? Uh, it's a bit top of me, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit top of me. Okay. No, I think we'll leave it. Pink. Pink. Pink, black and white. Pink, black and white. And Branding is down. Cool. Yeah, that matches one of our digital sponsors who's now on board as well. Fantastic. That's, matches one of their bo uh, bottles of water. So, yeah, uh, yeah my, uh, it's a good flavour. Yeah, welcome, Y Hydrate. We had a meeting last week that went really well. Yeah, so, absolutely. they're on board now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and last show of the year, you kind of we kind of established ourselves in the boxing scene. You we too. have definitely established ourselves. I feel like an established promoter. Yeah. Small Hall, rough shoulders of Eddie Earn. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, well, I was a taxi for Lee and then I got to meet him, but he knew my name and I melted like a little kid. But it was brilliant. And yeah. I know I'm going in the right direction. And I know this sounds big headed. I knew we'd make it on TV. I knew one day I'd be sat next to Eddie Hearn. You know what I mean? And I knew I'm going to have the best shows. But it's knowing it and now it's putting it all into action. And once you're at a level, the hardest thing is keeping it there mm. because you can quite easily slip, you know. And now that like, I'm getting tested a lot with managers, people wanting big money to fight on a show, people were thinking because I've got Sky, that I've got a TV deal with loads of money, they wanted me to pay them, they want the bigger splits in money, whereas the fact is the shows are made to break even. If mm. I keep juggling the splits and paying purses, we're going to lose money. Mm. So if you want to bridge the gap between small hall and big hall with your records, come and have a proper scrap, get paid fairly, you know. Get the exposure as get well. Get the exposure, the media coverage, the love, um, and then from that, I will do my best to promote you towards the big boys. Bang in. You know what I mean? Fair as I can be. Yeah, establish yourself. Established. Um, and the, the name of the show, obviously we, we, we do one word every time so far. So we've had um, the statement, we've had momentum, we've had um, resilience, and yeah, what, what are you going to go with for, for this well, one? It going to be due date, but I thought that was too much about my daughter. Uh, she can have the colour scheme, bless her. 
in the new year. She's uh, already controlling me, mm -hmm. wrapping around her little finger. Mm -hmm. um, but what we're going to do is going to call it established. Yeah, because we haven't said that enough in this video. No, as a hint. Say one more. Yeah. Established. Established. Do you know how to spell it? Yeah. I've I've spelt it wrong already. Oh yeah. Yeah, I try. I typed it into the the spreadsheet and it came up wrong. So, considering I'm doing all the graphics, I need to probably get to know. It's happened it's again. again. It's happened again. again. Poor old Tottenham. It's happened again. What happened? Is that when we kept beating you? West Ham. I don't think it's anything to do with lasagna and had the shits. I don't know, mate. Shut up, alright? Alright, sorry, mate. Um, end this video for me. Um, yeah, so basically, well hydrate on board, and we have always give our sponsors the best we can. Obviously, well hydrate are now going to be our digital sponsor. So we're going to go out in the public, hopefully Lakeside. We're going to hit up a few uh, shopping centres, try and get um, a couple of machines there that people can use. Um, yeah, just push their brand because they're helping us. So we're going to yeah. give it our all. Yeah. Aren't we really going to have a lot of fun with it? Yeah. So we've got, we've, got a, we've, got a, we've got a show to promote. Obviously, yeah. we want to get people involved as well. And, yeah. um, you know, care packages, prizes, all sorts of stuff we want to get. Over, you know I mean? Giving back. Giving back. Giving back. Giving but, um, back. yeah, pink, established, See you in December, date pending, Johnny Clark top tier boxing. Thank you very much. Did you think of those three words, by the way? Yeah. Oh, um, established. Yeah. Um, December. <laughs> uh, no, so what was it again? <laughs> Explain. What was it? Explain. <laughs>